12, she cack cack, 12, 12, 12. Boom, she cack, boom, 12, 12, 12. Did somebody mention 12? Hi guys, welcome back to my channel and oh, bitch, we are back. Welcome back to Drag Race videos, girl, seriously. So I hope you had a great break over Christmas. We are now back, we're gonna be doing videos. Obviously we had the announcement of the cast of season 12, which is what we're here for today. But first things first, I just got back from DragCon UK. Oh my God, it was like amazing, incredible, seriously. like. I was going to upload my vlog today, but then the cast reveal happened, so bear in mind I'm still going to re reveal. Upload that tomorrow, it's in two parts, so we're going to have tomorrow and then Monday for part two, I think. Yeah, pretty much that. So it's going to be like today's video tomorrow, like three videos all at once, seriously. And I have so many stories and pictures and everything to tell you, and I'm going to do a haul of the merch sort of unboxing video so there's gonna be loads of dragon videos but I thought with the reveal of season 12 we need to get this done first because I can't wait much longer so that's what we're gonna be doing today so normally with a new season and a new bunch of queens what I like to do is my first impression is when they first walk into the workroom and that's what I've always done obviously when I was binge watching back in the day when I first started with season 9 went back and did 1 to 8 you can do that whereas now like we have this this thing called the internet room Mm -hmm. So the internet happened and now you just can't avoid seeing anything and I'm not waiting four weeks for the premiere episode to see who these queens are when we have a reveal and meet the queens so obviously I'm going to do that today and also it's normally a big faff to watch the meet the queens sort of halfway through episode one when they all walk in so this is what we're doing going forward we do the meet the queens and then we see them walk in already knowing a little bit of tea about these queens. Oh, cool. So without any further ado, we're just gonna crack straight on to watching these Meet the Queens, but first we have the Ruvial Runway Walk with season 12 queens with a bit of Evie Oddly at the start, I think, so let's just jump straight into that. Also, RIP, All Stars 5, clearly. <laughs> Obviously it's been rumored the cast was there at DragCon UK, met most of them, but they're obviously doing season 12 first, and then All Stars 5. I live, because it needs a break. Tear down walls. Reclaim our drag. Why your free drag? 13 new candidates await the chance to become America's next drag superstar. Okay, so we got 13. Last time it was like 14 plus a 15th queen, Miss Vanji. It looks like we're in some sort of grunge vibe dungeon and she looks like gothic emo vibes, but I like it. Okay. What you call Aiden? Face is painted. I like that hair actually. You know what I like though? Oh wow, those contacts. Aiden Zane. Is it Zane? Yeah. She's cool. I do feel like I like watching it on the first episode because you get to see them out of drag straight away. Brita. Like Brita filter. <laughs> I don't think I'm living for that look. It's like a blue tartan with a different tone blue jacket type thing. I like the hair. Don't get me wrong, that hair. Wow. She's not doing too much for me right now, but we shall see. You never know. This is why I do these videos for first impressions and then for me to be proven wrong, basically, because I was like, Evie Oddly, she's going to go first. DDC, she didn't leave much of an impression on me. How wrong was I? Crystal Meth Method? Have you heard this music though? It's like, it's literally like, we're in some like underground, like that mm, might be the vibe. Make America gay again. We're all just like currently underground, not represented at the moment. We have to hide in the sewers like rats. It is the era of the rat, so. Dahlia Sin. I like that look. I mean, I do like a cat suit, bodysuit, and a bit of neon, and a bit of colours, and we've got some pink. 
She's got some nice sort of pink grey hair. I like her actually. She's giving me like a Dordalana vibes. I wonder if the theme for this was like grunge because they're all kind of giving that vibe. She's cute. Oh yes, yeah. so we've got a bit of Gigi Good. Good? Good. She's kind of give me like more tartan again, but Morgan McMichaels. I'm not a fan of the hair. Or the whole outfit to be fair. It's a bit sort of patchy, hodgepodge. I think that's the vibe of this like runway walk. It's like hodgepodge grunge. It must be with a bit of tartan. Just saying. Heidi in Closet. I mean, first of all, I love the name Heidi. She's serving it, walking, giving that fringe, that like, she's gorgeous, wow. I like the Asia hair vibe of the denim fringe, leopard print, really nice hair. She's, yeah, stunning. I'm excited. She's made the most impression so far, I think. Jackie Cox. Okay, get an Asian flair. We've got green. That is actually really nice. I like it. I don't, is she wearing jeans? It kind of is giving me like jeans. They're not jeans, but it's like <laughs> workroom entrance season two. Just wear some cute little jeans. That is nice. I like, I, I'm interested. She's giving me like, what, Jada Essence Hall. That is some long name. She's giving me like Aquaria face, I don't know why, but I, I like the black and pink. It's not a bad look. <gasps> she looks like someone, oh my god, who is it? Um, I can't remember. She's giving me like a bit of Serena Cha Cha. Okay. <laughs> so this is what it looks like. Gothy Kendall, uh-huh. Gothy Kendall clothed up. We got the exact, practically the same look. She gives better head than all the queens here. She looks good. I like her. Nikki Doll. Oh, she came to play baseball. <laughs> I like this look. I like her face. She's like badass realness. Morgan McMichael's like pink, like gonna kill a bitch. She could be in the Pussycat Dolls, to be fair, with that outfit. Rock M. Sakura. Wait. Okay. She looks good and painted. So the winner of All Stars 3 is here. <laughs> Trixie Mintel came back again. <laughs> I've never seen anyone do a face like that, except from Trixie. So, like, that's exciting. Is that her drag daughter or, like, Kim Chi vibe? I don't know. Like... Oh my god, she got like an R on the top as if she's like Team Rocket. Yeah, she is definitely a nerd, gamer, vi- I swear Trixie just decided to come back into the competition. <laughs> sherry pie. I wouldn't mind some sherry pie. I'm not living for that denim look though. I don't know. She, like, I, I know I'm always guilty of comparing them to previous queens. Sorry about it. But, she's kind of giving me a bit of Mimi I'm First face. Is it just me? You know what, I like the little bow in the top that makes it look like bunny ears. But aside from that, not living. Sorry. Widow Von Du, get you some. Oh, we got some Clack That Burn. I don't... She seems cute. Can't really get much from that. I don't really particularly like the outfit. Best thing about that outfit, is that fan and the fact that she caught it. <laughs> we shall see. Actually, her face is beat. I like it. Oh my god, she keeps catching it. Get some choreography up in her. <laughs> oh, I like that they're all coming out together. It's like a model walk runway. Also, by the way, this is better than the season 11 two hour reveal to go get it done in 12 minutes. They all look good together there actually as a piece. I just think some of the individual looks are a bit hodgepodge couture. We got Gothy, we got Trixie, we got Mimi. 
I think she misses like the red, white, and blue of the British flag from Drag Race UK. So she went with the red, white, and blue US American vibe this season. So I'll be getting some American flag outfits or something. I don't know. Let me know in the comments below what I should do. I chose the name Aiden Zane because I wanted something that felt very in line with my aesthetic and I also chose it for A to Z, again, both ends of the spectrum. Okay, to be fair, that makes sense. I do like that she's got like the different contact lens going on, but obviously it is the red, white and blue US flag vibe. She's giving me like Violet Chachki though. I don't know, is it just me? With that like black kitty cat wig? I don't even know, like, her face is giving me like Violet Chachki. But, you know, I'm not gonna let it bother me. It hasn't stopped me from getting this far. Why should it stop me from getting any further? She could like sneak in under the radar or if she's not big enough personality, she could go early. I don't know. More of the quiet girl. I tend to sit back, you know, I like to observe my surroundings. I like to get to know. Sometimes it's smart, sensible before you jump straight in. Boom, through you hoes like a wrecking ball. But also, Cameron Michaels made it a top four, top three. And she was just like. And I live in New York City. NYC in the house. Britta. Well, Brita? my name is Britta. Because I met this girl. Britta? Britta. I don't know. Um, and I was like, oh, it's like that, you know, water thing. Yeah, yeah. And so the Britta I, I decided to be anything but pure and just be Britta. <laughs> the New York City queens work the hardest. I mean, we were working every day. We are shuffling off. We're doing all the gigs. Mm -hmm. And we got some big names like Sasha Valua, Aja, Aquaria, Money Exchange, Bob the Drag. Girl, I could go on. They could do season 13, New York City. I feel like she's very New York Broadway, but like she's got personality. She's like a <laughs> a better Alexis Michelle. Girl, I could throw stones and hit five other queens that do what you do in New York City. She's one of them. See, that is a better look than that blue thing. I like the hair, but I don't... See, that walk was just like... You can't get anything from it. I don't know, I feel like she's got, like, the charisma. Like, not to use that word, but yeah, she literally... She's, she's like, I want to be her friend. She's, like, so friendly, you like... You know, I'm scared about the sewing. The sewing. Oh god, like, she's going home on the sewing challenge. Group dress, but like, JK. The, the, but, I, ain't, I ain't creating fashions like this, sis. Give me, I can stone a rhinestone on a dress, but I can't make this glorious goodness. I can't do it. No, I think, I think she's cute and funny. Like, I want to like, have a little kiki with her. Like, no, I like her. I've never auditioned before, but I told myself I wasn't going to oh, audition unless that... I knew I could win it. And this is the year, honey, that she is, is some to slay and here to win. commendable shit right there. Not auditioning once. We are on season 12. She got on. There ain't no Mayhem Miller here every single year auditioning. But anyway, I like her. I feel like she could be top four. I don't know. Like, this is literally just early prediction. Top, potentially top four, top six. I like her. I think my style is really quirky. Quarks and quarks. Is that a word? Quarks. It is quirky. She is giving me that like dollar store vibe. I don't like that look. Yeah, she's giving like the more artsy milk club kid vibe. I don't like the wig. I don't like the lips. I don't like the blue shoulders. I like the pearls. Are they meant to be crystal pearls? I don't know. The eye makeup's okay. I don't know. She has a prediction. She's going home third. I want everyone to see me and start wearing more accessories because I don't think uh, drag queens <laughs> wear enough. I don't got no accessories around. Sorry, girl. Doesn't it not say like, look in the mirror and take two things off? Maybe we should start putting 12 things back on. Is it slightly disturbing anyone else that one of her cheeks is slightly bigger? Like, the colour, not her actual cheek, but it's like, that left one. I don't know, it just seems like painted bigger than that. Just 
Just saying. I am 28 years old and I am from Los Angeles. Twinning, same Z's, although this was obviously filmed a year ago, so she's probably 29 now, but we are still the same age currently on the show. She's got the tattoos going on. She's giving me a bit well, of Well, Asha's my drag mother. She was the first person to ever put me in drag. She does literally sound like Asha. Oh my God. Oh my God. BK in the house. Everything. So she taught me basically everything from the ground up. Asha is one of my faves. <gasps> no. Oh. She's gonna give you a whole lot of sexiness while she's performing, but she's real cute. So she gives a lot of a little posh, a little. Is it not just like Aja Reebok? She's so the personality, the voice, like literally. I hope she does the death drops. I'm excited for. Her. <sighs> I already want to meet her. Yes, like that's her in the pink. No one. Yeah, Kawaii, give me Aja. Okay. A lot of people just look at me and think I'm a bitch just based off of how I look. Um, which is kind of true, <laughs> but I'm super sweet to everyone. Like anybody can walk up to me. I'm not gonna kill you. I'm not gonna be a bitch to you unless you give me a reason to be a bitch. That's literally like Aja. Seriously, I was so scared. I was like, oh my god, she's gonna kill a bitch. Then when I met her, she was the sweetest. <sighs> so sweet. I'm 21 years old from Los Angeles, California. Fuck, she's 21. Okay, girl. She looks good. I started drag when I was 15 years old at wow. substance free venues. So she's 15, 21, maths, six. So she's been doing maths. She's been doing drag for six years. Seriously. She, she's literally given me Morgan McMichaels though. She literally looks like she's got the jawline, the face, Morgan. I'm my own goddamn Barbie doll. That's all I had to entertain myself when I was, you know, age one to last year. So I just <laughs> have been treating myself like a life-size doll and it is just a dream come true. Like I'm getting paid for this. So if she's saying she could dance and sing, I'm excited for a dance challenge, a lip sync, a singing challenge. Give me some challenges, hello. Like, I wanna see her do this. I can say with a lot of confidence that you will never have seen a queen like me on this show. This being okay. my first time auditioning they... is exactly why I got it. First time as well. Oh my God, girl, seriously, they, wow. I'm excited though. If she's like picking herself up being like, I'm bringing something different to the table. Evie Oddly brought something different. Sasha Valua, like, watch out girl. My drag name came from a joke. It started out as, a lot of men from my hometown are closeted and they would always try and get my goodies and what not I was like, there's no need to be hiding in the closet. Hi hi hiding in the closet. Okay, 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 okay. I'm a dancing queen. I really love to just move my body. You know what though? She is giving me like Kennedy Davenport. I do have a pageant background. I started uh, really taking drag serious when I started doing pageants. She does have that nice pageant sort of face, beat the hair. She's like elbow, poised. Elbow, elbow, wrist, wrist, cross your heart and blow. Okay. But I like to think that I'm very demure and ladylike and so delusional. Yeah. <laughs> when drama occurs, I like to say, no, get out my face. I am not here for that. I'm here to show the world what I can do and fuck you, fuck you, and fuck you. <laughs> I feel like that should be like a line in like the top four song, like fuck you, fuck you, fuck you. <laughs> Now it's time to say good night, good night, good night. That is commendable though, seriously, like not to get involved in the drama. She's actually just here to show some face and dance and pageant like looks and drag and not be about the bullshit. Uh-huh. Charisma, uniqueness, nerves, and talent. Thank you. So she's got all the see you next Tuesdays. And I live in New York City. We got another New York queen. Is that three so far? I can't remember. My drag is very influenced by a lot of the amazing art that happens in New York City and especially the musical theater and cabaret scene. Cute. Art, uh, uh, art, 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 art. Did somebody mention art? But I usually am in bed by 10. No, I'm kidding. Actually, that's not a joke. I'm really used to Nine. <laughs> There's a lot of New York nightlife. I consider myself part of New York evening life. Because most of my shows are at like seven or eight. I was sitting here turkey lurking for my whole life. It's turkey lurking time. Something, something, something. I don't know. I feel like... So is she actually... Sorry if I got confused that. Is she, so is she not actually Asian? I'm the first queen of Iranian heritage oh, on okay, RuPaul's okay, Drag okay, Race. Okay, right, right, I'm right, Iranian right. and Canadian. So I'm the first wow. Canadian on RuPaul's Drag Race. Get you some Canadian bacon. Is that a thing? There is. <laughs> 
<laughs> I consider myself a beautiful woman. I can win a pageant because regardless if I'm competing in a pageant or if I'm competing in a competition, I come to win. Pageant queens are queens nonetheless, the same way anybody else can be a queen. You can be a pageant queen, but that does not make you less stunning. It does oh, not make you less fashionable. Yeah, absolutely. Don't pigeonhole them. Some pageant queens are like who have done an incredible. Hello, Trinity the Talk, Kenny Davenport, Akira. I could go on pageant queens like Hello, Alyssa Edwards, like Coco Montrese. Goodbye. Don't ever just like sleep on the pageant girls. I feel like she's gonna go like middle of the road because she's pageant. She's gonna have some good looks, so she'll be safe the first couple episodes. I don't know. I just feel like she's a bit like meh. All shade, all tea, all truth, all this, all everything. But I seriously, I just, I don't know. I, she's not really spark. So she could go home like fourth, fifth, safe zone a lot. I don't know. That's what I'm getting. Girl, I could end you. And I'm from New York City. Okay, so we got another New York girl. I think we're at four now. I can't remember. Like, fair enough. Well, I used to be a longer name, a backpack, if you get what I'm saying, but we're not going to do that. So I am just Jan Wait, now, I don't get it. Okay, because I love Jan a Brady backpack? from the Brady Bunch. I'm confused. Jan, what was your longer name? I think New York City is the best city to do drag. We do it all. We host, we turn looks, we sing live, we dance, we have comedy There's a mixes. mixture, yeah, Broadway, like turning looks, stunting pretty. She seems cute. Mama, she can get up with all of this if she wants to. And so she's here. Lux, 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 Lux. Oh, she's the gothy one. Okay, girl. <laughs> I do have a RuPaul's Drag Race mother. It's Alexis Michelle from season nine. There, I, I was looking at her face and I was like, I'm getting someone. Yes. Oh my God. Alexis Michelle, season nine, I New started York. I doing drag as Kris Jenner. And then I started to realize. No way. Just like Alexis Michelle doing Kris Jenner. Oh my God. I live. Me and Alexis actually met because I was doing a Kris Jenner number. And unbeknownst to me, she did it on the show. And so she, without me knowing, swooped me up and was like, I'm going to take you under my wing. I'm living for all the season nine representative daughters. I think that because I'm a singer, I'm able to mimic the shapes and the sounds with my mouth when it comes to lip syncing. Nail vibrato every single time. Uh, 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 yeah, you know, it happens. Bit of detox, but oh. I think she's, I like her, cute. Not just because she's Alexis Michelle's drag daughter, da, 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 season nine, but she is literally like, Bubbly, cute, seems talented. I like that look. I'm excited. I feel like she could be top six. Originally from Paris, France, but now currently living in New York City. Oh, we got some bonjour, Paris. Oh, girl, Nikki doll. She's 28, my age too. Fashion forward. Oh yeah, I get that already. And if she's well, in Paris, I definitely take a lot uh -huh. of inspiration from Fashion Week's runway, mostly from the 90s, where the top models were at their peak. Linda Evangelista, who is very known in this culture of drag. <laughs> I would say that Nikki Doll is, she looks like she's entitled and very obnoxious and fashion forward. That's just the way she paints because she's really just a clown. I like fashion, I like to perform, I'm not just an editorial queen. Uh, the visual is very in interesting for me and also I like to add a little twist of humor and wit to it. Yeah, you see, I like that. She's the one I thought looked a bit like she could do pink, she's got that hair, she came with a baseball bat, girl. That's totally different to her current look here. Like, I'm getting Paris, fashion. I usually don't put myself into a box. I conceptualize my looks head to toe. Stepping out the box like Shangela. Obviously, we are getting Trixie right now. Well, I am. The biggest misconception about me is that I'm nothing but a look queen. They see the big eyes, they see the big silhouettes, and they don't think I can turn the party or there's no depth to me besides what they see on we the We shall say. I'm really here to show people that there is a range of depth in Sakura. And the other misconception too is that I tuck well. Cause that's not the case. It's just smashed in there. Yeah. Smashed in there like, just shove it in there. Just come on, we gotta go. 
we use storytelling with our hands. What I contribute to the world of drag is like a big bright energy and a light to every dressing room or every club that I'm in. She does seem like really cute and bubbly though. Like I am obviously getting tricksy with the makeup, but she's cute. I'm excited to see her and see what she does on the show. I am 27 years old and I'm from New York City. Oh girl, okay. Five New York girls in the words of Yuha Hamasaki. Is that five? Like, I feel like this is season 12 New Yorks. I was, you know, throwing around drag names and I wanted something uh, a little bit punny and a little bit funny. Something that was a little vintage and so- Sherry, Sherry, well, Sherry is like- Sherry popular name in the 1950s. It is a and vintage so name to Sherry, be fair. And then I like food, so pie, Sherry pie. Sherry pie, let's get myself some sherry pie. I can see them selling sherry pie already at Dracon. Classic camp and a little glamour and a tiny peppering of like referential gay culture just baked all together to create sherry pie. I'm like a glampy queen. Stick it in the oven, gas mark five, half an hour, done, ping, eat. I did everything when I was a kid. I played, I played, uh, uh, uh. Baseball. <laughs> sport? What is that? This is the sport. Do you know how I do sport? <laughs> that was enough energy for me. Oh, shit. Sport. Queens. Fantasies. Sherry pie. Digestible. Fantasy. Disney. My girl. What is she saying? <laughs> she's giving me like Nina West if she's into Disney, but also magic. Magic. And honey, I am looking forward to a nice future. I really want some pie right now, to be fair. Like, I'm hungry. I am the Widow Von Du. Widow Von Du. Sounds like that food stuff, get you some fondue. Widow Von Du, Widow Von Du. I like the little, the, with the, the long, big pigtails. Von Du came from Kat Von D and Erica Badu, because at the time I wanted to tattoo by Kat Von D and Erica Badu was my alma mater, still is. I love everything about her, I love all her music. That just went right over my head, girl. Let's put it this way. Y'all better not blink this season, because if you blink, bitch, you gonna miss something real fun. <laughs> Did I miss it? No, girl. But they were all saying like, girl, we're gonna do something good, it's gonna be good. There's gotta be some drama, like they are hinting this in the Meet the Queens. There's gonna be some like triple eliminations, triple saves, like lip syncs for the first time in Drag Race history. If she says that one more fucking time, but she will, you know she fucking. There's gonna be some gaggeries. Season 12 is about to be the motherfucking ticket. Like, get your popcorn ready. Pop the corn and feed the children. I feel like she's gonna turn something. I mean, it's time. It's time for a big girl to reign, honey. It's time. I didn't come all the way from Kansas City to I don't lose. know. She's bigging it up a lot. I feel like she could be in the final, like top four. I don't know. I haven't seen enough yet, but she's like, she could be top six. Ha! Huh, okay, girls and guys and everyone. Seriously, so we have done 13 Meet the Queens. I wonder if they are going to bring someone back. They brought someone back every fucking season so far. Like Cynthia Lee Fontaine season nine. Eureka into season 10 and Miss Vanjie into season 11, three in a row. I think they're gonna have a break from it. But I would still be gagged if they brought someone back. Like, hello, so juiciest? I doubt it, but we'll see, I don't know. But they seem cute, I, it's the same every time. I'm like, I don't remember you, who, what, now, blah, uh, uh, but the names, I can't remember. So we're gonna have to go back, quickly look at the promo picture, and I don't know their names, but let's have a look. Okay, so we got, um. Season 12, what do you call it? Uh, cast, RuPaul cast, I don't know, let's see. When it wants to load, images, here's the promo. Come on Wi-Fi, let's do this. Nope, it's loading. We ain't got time for this, come on. I just wanna see the car. Okay, that's more like it. Cool, we're on the page now. So, I like her. Oh my god, yes. Oh my god, they all look so good and different. I don't know, like... <sighs> right, I need some names up in here because I can't... Like, I love this. The, the promo is cute. Like, obviously, 
Make America Gay Again, Red, White and Blue, that kind of vibe. So we've got some good looking queens here. I love Arja's drag daughter though. Look at that band. She... Charisma, uniqueness, nerve and talent. Seriously, she looks good. So we've got Aiden. Britta. I liked Britta personality wise. She was cute. I think she could be top four, top six. Crystal Meth. She might go home early. At least she stoned those tights all the way up. Who is this? Dahlia, is that her name? Dahlia Sin. She is Banji. I love her already. Seriously, I'm excited for her. I don't see her being like top four, but I would still live if she was. Gigi Good. Young, cute, seems to have a lot of talent. We shall see. Heidi in Closet. She was personality. She was like pageant, looking good, serving looks. Jackie Cox. I don't know. She didn't make too much of an impact. I feel like, fair enough, we'll see what she can do. But I think if anyone, she could go home first, go home second. It's just based off, like, basically nothing so far. So we'll see. Jada Essence Hall. I look at that picture and I think, who are you again? Like, she didn't give too much to me. Mm -mm. Jan Sport. Oh, she has a surname, Sport. Okay, Jan. I like her. I think she was cute. That's a good look, by the way. Wow. Mm -hmm. Nikki Doll, absolutely, uh, not, oh, Paris and the looks, like, I feel like she's going to be like Miss Fame vibes, giving some good looks, I'm excited. Rock M M Sakura, obviously Trixie vibes, like, she's going to be like cartoon, anime, whatever, but she said she can dance and do all that stuff too, so we shall see, potentially top four. Next, Sherry Pie. I want to taste that pie with all those sprinkles of ingredients. But yeah, I don't know. I feel like she's like personality. She could be like mid, sort of midway through the season. I don't know. She's giving me like Nina West vibes. Widow Von Du. I like her. I like her personality. I feel like she could be top four. I don't know. I don't like doing predictions. I don't know. So that is pretty much it. We have done the cast reveal of season 12. And like I said, I was at DragCon and girl... It was incredible, like I have so many stories and things and merch and the queens I got to meet, seriously, like I don't wanna give anything away, but obviously I've got some pictures on Facebook and Instagram and the vlog will be up tomorrow. Seriously, get that promo, it will be up tomorrow and then part two will be Monday, so stay tuned for that. I'll do a haul video, all that good stuff. So thank you all for watching. I will be back soon with all these videos and then we will be here for season 12 live reactions come 28th of Feb oh my god I'm so excited like literally ready and then All Stars 5 has been revealed I think 10th of July so there's all sorts of stuff happening so stay tuned for all that thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe and all that good stuff and give it a like if you liked it I don't know thank you for watching bye guys Second time, no third time, I tell a lie, third time. Bring it to the hodgepodge. Hodgepodge, 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 hodgepodge. Slag.